today just a, a quick tip um, just something that I uh, thought I'd share with you it's probably pretty obvious but just uh, cleaning the bed from the last print a uh, little bit of plastic there and what I do for both PLA and ABS is to use what's called ABS slurry or ABS juice which is nothing more than uh, little bits of, of uh, ABS dissolved in, in, in acetone uh, so I haven't found the need to, to buy anything anything fancy and for me it works for, for PLA and a ABS I've also used it with some sort of exotic filaments as it were such as uh, the copper or bronze loaded filaments and also flexible filaments I find that uh, pretty much anything will stick to this so having just uh, prepared the, the bed there obviously you need to to clean the brush so I just have a little little container in which I put some acetone don't need to go overboard on it having done that prepare to clean Clean the brush off. Obviously, the brush will set like concrete if you uh, if you don't clean it off. But then comes the sort of everlasting bit. Having cleaned the brush, I just have the the, the bottle that I've prepared the ABS solution in, and simply recycle. So the little bit of acetone goes back in the bottle, and uh, also. I have a couple of failed prints, doesn't doesn't everybody? And uh, just cut a little bit of, of ABS off of there, don't need to go mad with it. Drop that in the bottle too. Give it a shake and it's ready for next time. The additional benefit of using the transparent ABS is obviously the, the, the bed is, is, is clear. So pretty much no matter what uh, filaments that you use, coloured filament or whatever, because the base is, is transparent, it doesn't discolour the, the, the first the first layer. So I hope you found that interesting.